What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Johnson the Four, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Black Ops 3 beta official release date. And right now, a lot of people have been creating rumors. A lot of people have been making their own predictions about the beta. And I'm telling you guys this right now: nobody knows about the official date. Nobody knows. The only person who I suggest to trust right now will be Ali A. Even though I hate the guy, I suggest to trust him. Because he was the only one who was invited to the Activision headquarters or to the Treyarch headquarters. I'm not sure where he went. A lot of people have been talking about it lately. And, um, well, since he was the only one who was invited, he is the only one who knows about the actual things. About the maps, about the weapons, about information about Black Ops 3. He knows it all. Because he was there. So, that's the only person you can trust right now. The other YouTubers who are talking about the release date and saying they have 100% confirmation, they don't have shit. They're all lying to you guys, just reviews. There's All of this is just predictions. So do not trust any title out there that says 100% confirmation. Anyways, my prediction on the release date of the beta for Black Ops 3 will be... Well, first of all, I want to say this. It has to do with the numbers. Look at Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3, come on. We all know Vonderhaar. He likes to play with the release dates. He likes to play with the uh, information of the next Call of Duty game like he did with Black Ops 2 and now he's doing it again with Black Ops 3. He is very creative. So look at the number. Black Ops 3. They cannot release a beta three days prior to the official release date. Well, they might. Now that I think about it, they might because Advanced Warfare had a day zero release day. And everybody played it one day prior. So, thinking how Vonderhaar is, he might actually play with the number and release the beta three days prior of the official release of Black Ops 3. Three days! And I'm still asking, why even bother doing that if you're not going to fix anything in three days? And this happened with World at War 1. They released a beta for World at War one week before the official release of World at War. What the hell are they going to fix in one week? Like, seriously, like, what the hell were they going to fix? So, um, it could be three days before the official release day, or it could be three weeks before the official release day, or it could be three months before the official release day, which could be in August. If it was three weeks before, it will be in October. So, right now, I'm saying it right now. The beta for Black Ops 3 might be releasing either in October or in August. It cannot be in July because it's still summer and it's still quite early and I'm pretty sure they're still in alpha stage. They don't go into beta stage like maybe until August because I know how lazy Activision and Call of Duty or Treyarch are with their games. Seriously, have we, uh, haven't we? have we all seen day one of every single Call of Duty release? We all have seen it. There's, it's unbalanced, just a lot of lag, issues, you know, a lot of shit happens on day number one. We all know how lazy they are. Right now, I'm telling you, they are working only with DLC. They're working on the DLC maps. They're working with the, with the last touches of the character colors or whatever, you know, the color palettes. They're all, that's all they're doing right now. They're not working on balancing right now because we're all going to test it out for them. So I'm telling you, on the beta, I believe all the weapons are going to suck. They are going to suck. And the map we're going to play on for sure will be the size of this one that we're playing right now on, on, uh, on, the, current, on the current screen right now. And um, another thing that the beta might actually have, might only have, um, it might only have 6 versus 6. That's another prediction I'm making. It might only have 6 versus 6. Ground War, I'm pretty sure it's going to die off because Advanced Warfare and Ground War, sometimes it could be good, but most of the time it's bad because a lot of people roll in crews and man, it gets very chaotic and then people just really call in a lot of fucking bad kill streaks like for reals it gets annoying system hacks and that's another thing hopefully they don't bring back system hacks i'm trusting you betas if you show me a system hack i'm i just fucking swear i'm just gonna wear blind eye the whole fucking game there's just no reason not to have it so another thing is if we have pings every time we jump then remove the fucking jetpacks then what's the point in having that we're still showing up in the fucking in the fucking map like this pisses me off. Like every time I, when I play Advanced Warfare like for the first time, I was like, why the hell do we show up in the map every time we jump? Like we're getting punished for jumping. Super dumb. So anyways, that is it guys. That's, um, that, those are my predictions on the release date on the beta. You know, it will be either on October or either on August or the end of July. 
there you go guys subscribe for more you guys want to hear more about black ops 3 and also watch more call of duty advanced warfare gameplays